<sighs> Once upon a time, New York City, the little community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town, the table who fled uh, hundreds of years ago after they were sold on their homelands, though the magic clock was still the armor. <laughs> This entertainment. And it is muggy out there. Such a sad atmosphere. <laughs> Mate, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? My problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big me, please. That's on the blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck it out! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Further prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! You stupid girl. 
I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! All right, budget. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> Not a surprise. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, can't be nice. I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You found my job, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm a woodsman, you whore. Oh, save the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. <laughs> oh, God. Take your time. So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Watch you out of your misery. You fucking mongrel. You ignorant. <laughs> oh, he's fucking out. You can't, can't be doing be that. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll tell you. You fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's had enough. He's a feeble. <laughs> Son of a bitch can take plenty. Who do you work for, really? <sighs> These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, hey. you like my ribbon? Answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. It's gone. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, 20, 47, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned <laughs> up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you what really you think. think.
pain. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Episode one, faith. Make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. You're out pretty late. There's some sort of curfew I don't know about. What's with a third degree? <laughs> Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Bigby. Like it. 
Gretchen needs to dust this guy. Yeah, some nunchucks. <laughs> Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Judy? So, have you? Nope, nope. haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Sweet home. <laughs> There's a huge big sleeping in the couch. <laughs> Is that the three little pigs? Or one of them at least. Huh, hey, 
Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke? smoke? <laughs> Thanks. A couple thousand, thousand more of these, these. will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. <laughs> Eating alone. Mm, no, he's here. But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. <laughs> don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <sighs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Toad. Mr. Toad? Okay. How are his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make <laughs> Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. <laughs> he has a hard life being a cop. 
a sheriff. <laughs> and he wakes up two seconds later. <laughs> no trouble. What's the pig? I should say Collins is his name. What now? <laughs> Big B. Snow. Come with me. Oh boy, snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning, or evening. <laughs> yeah. Let's move. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. She's being paranoid. to see that you knew this girl is she's not a Monday right who was she I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town she looks familiar a working girl a working girl I don't I mean I am a working oh Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Okay, so who did this? Terrible. Did you see anyone else? It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. <sighs> Big P, this is did one of sick. us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. Sick All the more message. reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that? I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. What are they gonna do with the head? Uh, that's so disturbing, man. <laughs> she was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Uh, what is it? Did this to her. Oh, gosh. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Okay, that's what's in the paper. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Hmm. I'm, 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes. yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. This is some kind of... Oh, it's just a hedge. <laughs> that was some, some kind of barrier. What is a regular hedge? <sighs> oh boy, that's so sick. Oh, what's this? More blood. Okay. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Ah, what's this? Nobody there. Okay. It's this area is clear. No signs that it's been here long. the fence, got caught, and let the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. But the gate's locked, so the investigation ends here. Sure, how much time we have? Hey, it's not. Mm -hmm. You all right? I'm Oops. really not sure how much time we have. <laughs> Press the wrong button. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her. Before anyone shows up, we'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of him. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. 
That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. A bone sticking out from his skull. Oh, yuck. Uh, from the neck. Sticking out, out of her neck. <laughs> the long goodbye. Hmm. What are you blind? blind? Why you, you don't, don't see, see there's, there's a line? line. I've, I've been standing been here a half hour already. already. You get you to just, just walk, walk in? in? Must, Must be, be nice, nice being the sheriff. sheriff. Do whatever, whatever the, fuck the fuck you like. like. I, know. I know. I'm taking I'm cuts. cuts. Is that supposed, supposed to be funny? funny. <laughs> you see anyone here <laughs> laughing, <laughs> sheriff? Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. Uh, you so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. It's mad. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. Oh, you asked me a question. <laughs> Don't change the subject. You are to blame for yourself as well as Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Mm. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of them. Yeah, her pen. Her... was she a... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Massage. <laughs> Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Uh, is... The... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. From the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the monkey. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. <laughs> eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. <coughs> I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. That's a lot of books. He knows the ones I'm talking about. 
There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Ah, the chanted mirror? You really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. It's from the Aladdin. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history. Mirror, mirror, uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well... Until you do, I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still <laughs> That was fun. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Uh, is he drunk again? Mm, oh Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. <laughs> That's a lot of books. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Brickle Bit in an older elfish hand. What's Brickle Bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit go. Oh gosh.
Ah, here's a symbol. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairo. I'll go look it up. Alairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. Hmm. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Deceased. So she's the one who died. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than we. Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before that? Or what he did to get them. Strength. This comes in all forms. That's death. <laughs> it's the last one. Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Eesh. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Colin and his brothers. Beasts. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Well, long time ago. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah. I remember. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe.
Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. This is, must be fate. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes he his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I guess that's everyone. means tarot is a backwards art i wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom bigby not when you've been so helpful <laughs> prevision's money i'm as clear as a window a window huh mirror mirror blah blah able blah 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 about this fable of which fable do you wish to know <laughs> blah 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 <laughs> Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Because hmm. she's dead. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Yeah. Guess that this crosses is. him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep. That's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Tom. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! This is right. There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, oh, this is oh, what boy. was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. We should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Trouble. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! This is right. There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? 
Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Whoa. Well, worse than the day. Damn. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Enough, all right, just shut it. I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Hmm. Is there any more clues here? What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. So fun, but it's a mess. Is that his son? Toad, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bog, huh? Hmm? Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? That sounds suspicious. Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... <laughs> Fine, relax. Be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Whew. Grown ups, am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? <laughs> it has a weevil. Cool.
just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing? Yeah, sure thing. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Yep. <laughs> the plug is still in there. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. <coughs> uh, a lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Just like everything else in this bloody building. <coughs> He's hiding something. <laughs> I think he is hiding something. He looks so suspicious. There's blood. It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. Bleeding. Why? His head's black. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavarening now. <laughs> the wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? It's the lamp. If you're gonna say something, out with it. What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless bubbles. Said Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. The new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Yeah? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you? It was the middle of a sodding night, Big B. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. There's blood. And what happened here? The poker? Well, oh, right. there's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Bloody hell, Big B. What sin is the bit yep. have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me housekeeping's not up to your standards. Uh, 
Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime on a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Tull. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. I know you're lying about something, but I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. It's getting complicated now. Big, big. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody hell. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad, you can help the process along, you know. Ow! How am I going to help the process along? Tell me what happened. Right now. I keep telling you, this is just a misunderstanding. A, a series of accidental mishaps. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? Please, just take it easy. I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, you're going to tell me what's going on here, or I'm going to start... <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh, maybe it's. It got away from me a bit. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Oh, shucks. Higby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. It's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What did, what did you, you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> oh, so stay on that thing. Turn around here will astonish you, mate. We're merely repossessed what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map of some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya.
I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be all right. So, the princes now? Lawrence's. Yeah. It's our <laughs> best lead. Our only lead, really. <sighs> when you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. <laughs> uh, decisive. This isn't gonna end well. Can you hear me? Don't dead? just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Oh shit, there's blood in the sofa. Are you okay? Get Dr. Swine on him. I'll stay with you. No! No! Oh, he's still alive. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. What happened?
Do you still have that letter? Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. It might be something that helps us. A clue. A lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Oh no. I'm guessing that's someone. It's Shana. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? What are they? Prescription of sleeping pills. Oh. oh boy. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. I'm the final boss in door number one. Stuck to the bed a little. My D. 
dearest faith. I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best, and I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. Not all we can hope for at this point. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Stay here! Shucks. No! Someone's hiding in <laughs> in the room. Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! He's up there. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why did you run? What? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you. No, to... I'm D. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Dumb D. <laughs> yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab.
Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woods, but figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you. there was. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. A broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right, we've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I... Just be careful, please. The same goes for you. <laughs> the Bronx. <laughs>
What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nuts. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Oh, that's cool. You get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. <laughs> Whose is that? Someone who left. Someone like... The guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. <laughs> Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Well, now. Who could that be? Thousand. <laughs> Loki here. <laughs> it's the fucking woodsman. <laughs> number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. It's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. Funny. 
Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. No, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Biggie, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl, I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. We want answers, stupid. Believe me, right? You don't want your pity. <laughs> I'm gonna string me up, Biggie. You said it looks fucking oh, bad. It looks really bad. Bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't, Shit ain't just, just about, about you. you. It's about this fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lap dog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, good. Ah, oh, boy. You should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, the you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Come on, Woody. Uh, the wolf needs your help. <laughs> if I'm on my own. Haha, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Are you? Whoops. Damn, he's strong.
He's had enough. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the alas. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. Now uh, what? All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> well, well, the guy we're looking for. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. What's going on here? Oh, another murder. Complicated now. <laughs> we had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You 
must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Decisions. Ah, damn, all of the people he meets keeps on dying. <laughs> Lawrence death. Oh, okay. So we can stop the death of Prince Lawrence. Ooh. I smell another version of this game. <laughs> so I can prevent her death, huh? You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. Let's give you some answers. Okay, folks, 